have you been buying dried fish from the market or a fish farm from a fish pond and every single time you bring that fish back home to dry after you must have dried it it still has worms you still discover that there are still worms in the fish and it makes you i don't know it makes you withdrawn about dried fish and all of that well i have good news for you today because that is about to end today today like this moment we're going to be showing you in this video i am going to be showing you in this video how to do away with worms in your dried fish basically how to properly dry your fish so if that is something you would want to watch that is something you would want to learn please stay in this video as we go through the process together hi guys my name is compassion trikey welcome to my youtube channel i am a youtuber based in kaduna nigeria if you're just stopping by in this channel for the first time welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for staying with me up until this moment so let's get into the video right now now this video is going to be explaining how to properly dry your dried fish that way you don't have worms in the dried fish so when you get your fish from the market probably the fish is not properly dried and all of that you want to take the fish and then pinch out the gut of the fish i'm going to be showing you that shortly pinch out the gut of the fish and remove the gut out of the fish then you dry it because the gut is actually what is making the fish spoil quickly and you know that if you would say you want to dry it completely you are going to end up drying and losing the taste of the fish and you don't want that for your fish you still want your fish to have to still have that yummy taste so you would not want to dry it completely to the point where you lose the taste of the fish to the point where the fish becomes black and it burns out now that notification i forgot to put my phone on flight mode let's go on so now let's say for instance some people buy their fish and then they go ahead to dry it under the sun well i want to tell you to stop that habit today because drying your fish under the sun actually gives it more room to to um accommodate microbial growth because the more you keep your fish under the sun the sun takes longer time to dry the fish so it's still the fish will still have have that moist in it especially the head part of the fish from the middle down it's very easy for the fish to get dried on those parts but the up is where it actually has a lot going on and that is where the gut is so before the sun is actually going to hit that part of the fish it takes a while and before that time frame it must have started bringing out worms so you want to use an oven to dry your fish and if you are using an oven you have to use a temperature that is okay to not burn your fish so now you are going to decide or you are going to be checking in and out to see the growth of how the fish is drying but you have to take out your guts now let's use this fish as an example now these two are very small sizes if you dry these two under the sun it might still grow um it might still bring out worms because for it to completely dry it, it's going to take a little while before it's completely dry it might still grow out worms it might not but to be honest if i said you can just use an oven and for these ones you don't really have to go through bringing out the guts to dry it but now let's get to where the problem is going to be so when you want to dry fishes that are a little bit big a fish that is up to this size or bigger than this you want to use something probably a stick like this and hit this part of the fish this side of the fish you want to hit it and bring out the gut that is in there because that is what is making your fish to spoil quickly so you want to hit it and bring out that part of the fish that way your fish is going to get dried and when it is dried it doesn't bring out that worms 
and don't forget do not sun dry you can only sun dry after you must have um used your oven to dry it then probably after you've used your oven to dry it you just want to be airing it outside it's that is not even necessary to be honest but if you have much fish you just want to be airing it just for airing sake but not really because you want to dry it so stop using the sun to dry but instead use your oven to dry so if you do all of these things you are going to successfully inhibit the growth of microorganisms in your fish i hope that this video has helped you i hope you have learned a trick or two on how to successfully dry your fish and get a sumptuous taste if you end up liking this video please give this video a thumbs up if you want to share this video to someone to also learn how to dry their dried fish please subscribe to my youtube channel as i would be showing you other tips to do for other things so until my next video this is me signing out bye guys